Hi, I'm reporting on my three days of taking 12 and a half milligrams of iodine every day. 12 and a half milligrams of iodine is considered a very high dose because it's actually a hundred times the generally accepted dose for people who are iodine deficient. However, there is a growing body of research suggesting that high doses of iodine can be beneficial and I've been trying this out for the past three days. This is actually day four. I wouldn't advise anyone to, to, to do this at home unless you've actually read up on it as I have or if you're doing it under the, the supervision of a med medical practitioner. The, the symptoms can be very strong, I've heard, but actually I found it not too bad at all. I reported in my last video of the symptoms I had on day one, which were mainly nausea and a slightly trembly feeling. And when I went to bed that night, the nausea came back. I felt really just a wee bit nauseous. But the next day I felt fine and the nausea had completely gone. The trembliness had completely gone and they didn't come back. And I don't think I've really had any symptoms from the iodine. I have had some symptoms on from the, the companion nutrients. You're recommended, it's, it's recommended that you take these companion nutrients if you're doing this iodine supplementation protocol because they can help you overcome the side effects of the iodine and the detoxification. It's not really iodine causing it, but the detoxification that the whole process can cause. I took, I've been taking extra selenium, extra B2 and extra B3 and vitamin C all in quite high doses. So the first symptom I got was neon yellow pee. Apparently that's because of taking, that's the result of taking high doses of vitamin B2. It's very common and there's nothing wrong with it at all. In fact, it was quite pretty in a way. The other effect I had was much more shocking. I'd heard that you can get a hot flush from taking the vitamin B3 and that you should start on a relatively low dose. So the recommended dose was 500 mg twice a day. So I thought, well, maybe if I take 500 mg once a day, then I'll be okay, that'll be low enough. But I should have started much lower because I didn't get so much as a hot flush as an incredible burning sensation that started about two and a half hours after I took the vitamin B3. It was in my back, my upper back just felt as if I had bad sunburn or something, and sunburn's not something I get very often. It was, it got worse very rapidly, and it started spreading to the back of my neck and then my scalp, and it was going up the side of my face and my forehead. I was a bit panicked. I went onto an online forum and asked about it. I asked whether this was the iodine or the B3 that was causing it. And I, I found out that really I should have taken a lower dose of B3 and that was the problem. I also got very itchy wrists. I was scratching like mad. It was, it was just horrible. And it only went on for about 20 minutes. But I kept thinking, what's going to happen? Is this going to get worse? You know, luckily it didn't. And I soon felt better. But since then, I, I was advised to just stop taking the B3 for a few days. And I'll only go back to it if I start getting detox symptoms caused by taking the iodine. Because what I've been told to expect is that you can get, um, apparently bromine and fluorine can cause the problems, the, the actual iodine deficiency problems can be caused by bromine toxicity and other halogens like uh, fluorine and chlorine. And when you take the high dose of iodine, the theory goes, the, the high dose of iodine can actually push out the bromine, the bromine into your system and the idea is that you take a quarter, of, a quarter teaspoon of salt dissolved in water to start the detox or to, or to, to give the, the detoxification pro process a kickstart and that starts to shift it inside your body and that's when you start getting symptoms. But apart from the first day I really haven't had a problem with symptoms and I'm hoping that will continue because I think my 
I, I, I've been taking my pulse and my temperature three times a day and um, because my pulse has been very low due to the, this sort of sluggish thyroid condition that I have and I noticed that in the past couple of days it's increased slightly generally my pulse is in the mid the 50s mid 50s low to mid 50s and in the last couple of days it went up to the low to mid 60s which was great but today it's gone back down again maybe because I did a lot of physical exercise yesterday well physical work I was doing a lot of gardening and a lot of digging I don't really know because it's only been a few days so far this experiment has been going very well the idea is that the first week you take 12.5 milligrams a day and then you double the dose in the second week, you triple the dose in the third week and you quadruple the dose in the fourth week. So by the fourth week you're taking 50 milligrams of iodine per day. And I'm quite keen to start taking more but I do want to you know, follow the instructions as carefully as I can, I don't want to rush it. But I think you know, the symptoms so far have really not been that bad. So I'm going to report back again next week when I start taking 20, sorry, yeah, 25 milligrams a day. That'll be next week. So I'll report back then.